Hi, welcome back. Today I'm sharing my weekend itinerary in Bad Kissigan, Germany. My daughter Katie and I had a ball discovering this spa town in northern Bavaria. Germany is filled with spa towns and I've visited many, probably most of them. Here's a cool fact. When the Romans were coming through Germany, any town that had hot springs or healing springs, they would name Bad for bath. This indicated medical services, health and recuperation, and eventually brought tourism to the region, bringing many Romans and many more over the years for the healing powers of the springs. So here's my itinerary of where we stayed, visiting the Casalis Therm, our great hikes to the ruins Bodenlauben, and good eats. Welcome to the Travel with Wendy channel. I love connecting and interviewing small business owners around the globe. I like to share reviews and hit the trails hiking. Thanks for joining me today because it's always an adventure when you travel with Wendy. Bad Kissigan is a great weekend getaway. It's two and a half hours north of Stuttgart, two hours from Frankfurt, and three from Munich. And we arrived late on Friday night. Check out this image I caught of House Bethania where we were staying. Pretty spooky, right? The Haus Bethania is a Ferienwohnung, or a holiday apartment in German. It's located within walking distance of the Rosen Garden or the Promenade of Bad Kissigen. It's actually only 10 minutes by foot. Walking through this Baroque town is gorgeous too. The early 1800 architecture is still intact and renovated. Katie and I enjoyed our little apartment. We were on the first floor, making it quite easy to come and go. Our apartment had a full kitchen and eating area, large bedroom, couch, and sitting area, big closets, and a bathroom. If you're new to a town, just visit the Tourist Information Center, which is going to be in that direction. <laughs> so this is a really cool tourist spot. Watch as I get closer. Here, tipping. <laughs> so this is multimedia special events. Um, this is what's happening close by. And uh, guest flooring. This is for um, daily wandering. Okay, I'm going to hit. <laughs> this is hikes. Really cool. All the information you need to know for hiking, wandering. Daily hikes. There you go. This Baroque town has a beautiful promenade around the Rose Garden and is lined with restaurants, cur hotels, and spa hotels, and is super relaxing. Check out this artist who is inspired by the views. Katie and I made our way to the spa park or Kerr Park. This is also where the original bathhouse is located. There's a wonderful introduction to the spa town in the heart of the Kerr Park. Here we learned a lot about the spa culture of the mid 1700s. This is called the spa garden that we're in right now. London, Austria, modern Austria. Yeah. Monte Cati. You can say it better than me. <laughs> We really enjoyed walking around town, and Saturday happened to be market day. This is quite common in a bath town around Germany. 
They would let the mineral water come through. Since 1796, the casino in Bad Kissikin has been filled with entertainment and fun. They have several restaurants, concerts, a comedy show, and cabaret. COVID restrictions are in place, so check the links in the description below for more information. A weekend in Germany would not be complete without a hike somewhere for me. I was happy to discover there are castle ruins right in Bad Kissigan, Ruins Boten Lauben. Ruins Boten Lauben is located on the outskirts of town, and I'd already researched that it was a 5.1 kilometer hike that you could take from the center of town to the castle. However, being our first time visiting and the sun being a bit uncooperative, we drove and found a place to park not far from the hiking trail. Okay. This is attempt number four, but all the roads are closed to get there. So we just parked on the side of the street and we're gonna try to attempt to enter this way. And there are the ruins, you can see them. Right away, we saw the trail signs for Ruins Boat in Lauben, 0.1 kilometers. Yeah, we could handle that. So this is part of the Prussian dynasty. This castle was originally built in 1180. The most prosperous time was around 1220 when the crusader Otto von Baudenloben and his wife Beatrix settled here in the Rhone mountain region along the Saal Valley. The fortress ruins were easy to walk around with wide paths and panoramic views of Bad Kissigan. Every other year, there's a medieval festival held here on the third weekend of September. I'll put the links below in the description for more information. In 200 meters, your destination will be on the right. We toured around town, took a hike, and now it was spa time. Kisselis Therm is the most famous of the thermal baths in Bad Kissigan. They offer daily tickets for two, three, four hour, or all day for both the thermal baths and spas, or just the thermal baths. Most saunas in Germany are ohne Kleidung, or without clothing. Just an FYI, you don't want to be shocked. Katie and I had the most relaxing and restorative time at the spa. Check out their website for all their information on hot tubs, services, and more. As evening was setting in, we made our way back to the Rose Garden and Promenade. Reservations were tough to make, and luckily we got in at DeVito's Ristorante and Gelaretia. They have a huge menu, and we enjoyed some bruschetta and pesto genovese pasta. We were so thankful for patio seating because every weekend night at 7, there's an illumination, light, and music show. Check it out. Pretty fun. That's just a little bit of Bad Kiss Again. So what do you think of our weekend in this spa town? It sure is special, huh? For more information, check out my blog and podcast too. Thanks for watching today and don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. Till next time, remember, it's always an adventure when you travel with Wendy.